Welcome everybody, this is Grizz here, and we're today we're going to be playing a Parthia campaign in Rome 2 Total War on the hard bat or the hard difficulty setting. Um, the reason we're doing Parthia is Attila was just released, and I have yet to pick it up. Um, I will in the future, but I after Rome 2's release, I didn't want to be spending. Uh, I didn't want to pre-order a game I didn't know was going to be uh, good. <laughs> I mean, Rome took nine months before it was in a very good state. I played it the whole time. But, uh... Yeah, so here we'll look at the... The victory conditions for Parthia. You're supposed to, you're supposed to take Parthia, Mesopotamia, Italia, uh, Scythia, Syria, and the Bosporus. So not a huge... Uh, other than Italy, you're pretty much going to be staying on the eastern side of the map until you go fight Rome. Or you can go for an economic, which I have never done. Um, the 90,000 talents a turn is very difficult to pull off without having to trade across the entirety of the map. Uh, and the cultural victory, I guess we could do. And this one's about... Maybe it's a little harder because Sarmatia. But it's about as difficult as the military campaign. Um, so yeah... I, I do have some mods I'm using, uh, which I will leave a link to the mod collection on my Steam uh, page down below in the description. Uh, nothing, no new units, uh, nothing game breaking really, just t you know, towns, traits, and toadies, four turns per year with season, that kind of stuff. Um, better unit cards and or agent cards and things like that. So we'll start here, and I will see you guys. Uh, after the loading's done. The map's about to start, and we'll see the intro here before I keep... And I'll just be quiet while it's going. The time has come to establish a new and great empire in the East. War with Porthava is inevitable if you're to consolidate your position. However, patience is advised. They have no love for their Seleucid masters, and allowing them to rebel first will ensure that they receive no military support from their overlords when you strike. Taming the northern tribes may buy you the time you need. Alliances with other satrapies are a possibility, although you should be wary of limiting your expansion options. The decision is yours. All hail the new Parthian Empire. Yeah, the the advisor was pretty right on uh, in the description. So Parthia, we'll take a look at the tactical map. Or the campaign map. Uh, yeah, this is a mod. This is the modern themed map. It's, gonna, it's in the collection that I'm going to have in the description below. Uh, so why don't we zoom in down here and take a look at uh, who's around us. We have Bactria who owns both these provinces. Uh, they are our biggest, well, our second biggest threat. Our first biggest threat is Parthia, or Parthava, who's not really a threat, and we'll deal with them relatively quickly. But Bactria is the one who's going to be causing a majority of our problems in the beginning of the game. Bactria is very strong. Uh, they're definitely one of my top five favorite factions. But here we are, we're Parthia. Uh, we start out with Let's look at our diplomatic tab. Uh, go to characters. We have a 14-year-old faction leader. And this one's not bad. Culture of conversion, which we don't really need other than in the provinces to the north. We really won't need this. And corruption's always nice to get lowered. Uh, we have a casually adulterous faithful man. That's interesting. He's 40. Uh, he's nothing special, really. Then we have a 16-year-old general. Who's, very, who's lucky and very ambitious. Uh, he's someone we're going to want to really focus a lot of stuff on. So we'll get this guy... Mm. Mm. You know what? We won't upgrade. Here's a little tri a little tip I'm, I can give you guys. If you have a general who starts out with bad traits or whose first trait you don't like, don't secure a promotion for him yet. Once he gets three uh, traits or household uh, abilities. Once he gets to the third one, 
I'll show you. I think he's right here. No, that's not him. Here he is. Once he fills up his three slots, one, two, three, uh, any he won't be able to gain any more traits unless it's an upgrade to his previous one, unless you secure an upgrade at that point. Uh, and that secured upgrade will never be able to get taken down ever again after that. And we have a farm to start, nice. Well, first thing you want to do is build a garrison settlement, because this is your only city, so you want to get as many uh, troops to defend it, because you will be very aggressive in your expansion, uh, taking out Parthava. Um, but yeah, so once once this guy gets two traits, I will give him a... I will bring him actually down to the border, give him some units. And we'll disband this guy. And we don't need all these horse skirmishers. Let's get rid of... Oops, don't need that. Get rid of all these guys. And spam, 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 spam the Parthians. Archers. They're the best. Anyway, so yeah, once we hit three, or once we hit two more, we'll upgrade him and get rid of that negative trait. Uh, he's, he says he's casually adulterous. But I didn't see... Uh, I don't think he has a wife, does he? Oh, uh, Yeah, he doesn't. That's interesting. Alright, the first thing you want as Parthia is more ammo. Which is here. Now, you can go for that. Which is a good thing. So we're going to get our champion and we're going to get our infantry tents. Which are very important. Uh, but... I don't immediately go for that first. I get the infantry tent level two, and then I switch. Uh, I switch over to some of the social organiz the social traits. Eh, I guess. Which one? Our oh yeah. Okay. Let's bring in our. Ambitious general. We'll put him in a bow unit. It's free. Our young ambitious general. Uh, there is a little trick you can do in the. I think you could do it in the base game. So there is a household thing that gives you increased public order, and really all you have to do is do this. And if, sometimes you'll get it just by doing this over and over. I didn't get it. Maybe it'll work next turn. Who knows? So yeah, we're getting our Parthian. Uh, horse archers. They have 40 base damage for a uh, horse archer unit. They're ridiculous. The AI really doesn't have a answer to them. Now if you look, uh, your starting position, you pretty much are friends with everyone except Bactria and the Nomads. And Bactria doesn't hate you in the beginning. They just kind of don't like you. Uh, my first suggestion is to go in down to the, the Arakosia. The I think that's how you say it. And you try to get some non-aggression packs. Either they'll do a non-aggression, they'll do a defensive, they will not be your client state. They'll do a military alliance. See, this is, if you want, you can turn these guys into military ally, and that locks up. Uh, that counts as your victory conditions. But what we're gonna do is we'll get a non-aggression, for a thousand? Let's see if they'll do that. No, they won't. You have an honest face. Hmm. Even as you offer an honest pride, I must, in all politeness. They will. All right. I came as a supplicant. And now. And the gods have granted you generosity in abundance. I agree to all. Got more money out of them. I am humbled by your. Now we can go for the military alliance still, but they won't give us any money for it. Or we can go defensive alliance and get some money. I think that's the best one. How much money can we get out of these guys? Let's go 1,500. Nope, won't do that. I don't think they have enough money for it. Go for another 800. Alright, there we go. Arya is going to be a fighting ground for Bactria and you. Um, and since Bactria really likes these guys, uh, they're going to like us more. See, we're already at positive. We've gained 25 just off that. I am honored. Uh, 
One thing we're gonna do, we're gonna declare Lords war the on these guys immediately and bring our allies in. That gives our allies we will go to a target to go after. Your souls. And it also... Uh, it also kinda pisses Bakhtri off, but since they liked us more at that point, it's alright. There we go. So now we have 3,000 gold again. And... We're gonna wait till we get farm before we upgrade that. Do we have anything else we can do? I think that's all we can do at the moment. So we'll end our first turn here. Um, yeah, Parthia is a skirmish cataphract based faction. Oh, there we go. The Dahe have been attacked by Bactria. Interesting. Uh, we will enter on their side. We're gonna be at war with them eventually anyway. Sometimes they do this. Other times I've had it where Bactria and me become military allies and they go kill the nomads for me. Um, and why I take out the east. That is your perfect scenario, but that's very difficult to do. Alright. We look. Aracosias declare war on Sag Sagartia? Hmm. Likes barbarians. Now normally when you get a likes trait... Like these two just got. Uh, they usually give a cultural bonus. But since it's not a culturally based one. With the Barbarian. It's just increased morale. It's not terrible. Now as you can see he has two traits. Now the next trait he gets. The upgrade will remove the first bad trait. Afterwards. We'll see if Parthava is still. No they are not. Good good good. So let's declare war on them immediately. I you in my master's feared name. Uh, we won't call it. Oh, yeah, we won't call in our ally. First thing we want to do, boom. Go take their horses from them. Auto-resolve. You can auto-resolve this if you want. It doesn't matter at all. Um, you know what? Why don't we fight it so I can show you some of the horse archer tactics. Uh, I got a lot of these tactics from Reptilicus in his amazing way of the warrior video amazing i highly highly suggest you go watch it before playing as any faction that uses horse archers it is the best it was it's an hour long i'll give you that uh it's it is kind of long but it is the most comprehensive faction guide i've seen to date and it came out just before attila so maybe not enough people saw it so i really recommend you going and seeing that um I'll see if I can leave a link below. Here, I'll write a little note so I don't forget. Um, but yeah, definitely go watch that beforehand. I'll show you a little bit of tips and a little tips here. I only have three horse archers. Normally, I think uh, his strategy revolves around having a lot of horse archers and a lot of shock cavalry, which I don't have any yet. Later in the game, uh, anything in that video, it all applies. Other than, like, the jab cav stuff, because skirmish cav are not that good for Parthia. <laughs> Alright, come on, load. Yeah, Rome 2's never had the best load times, but I am on a an i5-2500 series. So it's, I don't have the best processor. It's, it's alright. But it's not it's no longer a beast gaming process like it was years ago. Um Oh come on. There we go. No? Please? Please? For real? Maybe it's because I'm recording. Um maybe. Again, you could do this whole Parthia beginning. If you don't want to fight the battles in the beginning, you can defeat Parthava without fighting a single fight. Uh, which is what I tend to do. I usually don't even fight this battle. Because 10% losses are acceptable, I think. But that's just my opinion. Uh, we're going to definitely want to put... All we really need here is these guys. Uh, I'm using debug camera, if you're wondering. Uh, there there are plenty of ways to find out how to do your debug. Um, 
Let's move all these guys up. So hopefully you guys can figure that out on your own. Let's see what do we have down here? Just some hillmen. I'm really worried. The only unit I'm worried about is their pikemen and their two horse archers. Which is what these guys' job is to go find. And you're gonna go around this back way. See if we can spot anybody. Alright, there's their pike. Do they have any other units up here? Alright, so that's see a trick I just did right there? I threw a jet, I th did one volley and then ran. Uh, that is a. Usually, you want to just get into range for one attack and then pull out. That is a little. So you, the opponents don't have time to set up and fire because when you walk guys up to attack, uh, to shoot, they will actually walk closer than the required distance. We're gonna move these guys up onto the top of the ridge here. Hmm, we don't want to waste any ammo here. So let's not. And what do we got? We got mob. There's the archer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send our general to go deal with the archers. They're engaging, which is alright. Turn on. You guys can go deal with them. And the only really unit we have to kill is the hillman. And these guys, let's go kill them. And you guys can kill them. They're on skirmish mode, so they'll run. Alright, let's get a insert view on the general here. Oh shoot, really? Oh. Yeah, I guess. Our general is under attack! Advance! Alright, well, General just took out that dude. Their pikes are... There we go. General's dead. And... That's the end of the battle. Let's just end it here. I lost more men than I should have because I forgot to tell my Eastern Spears to attack the other mobs. I honestly... That is one thing I think Total War needs, and I know it'll cause huge problems online is idle units should, once defeating one unit, should engage in the next closest uh, melee. It's in the same direction they were attacking. So if you're pressing forward and your guy beats, uh, you know, if you win one-on-one -on -one and then both guys in your flanks need help, you should, I don't know, you should automatically, if engaged by somebody, turn around and engage if you're not fighting somebody else with an attack order. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Um, some of your men don't just stand there and not fight back. You know what I mean? Like if you get rear, you know, if you get hit in the back by a Eastern spearman, uh, you're not going to stand there and let them kill you. You're going to turn around and kill them. But that doesn't happen in Total War. And I know why. I get it. You can't be giving free, here we'll just occupy. My Lord. You can't be giving free attack orders to people. First thing we're going to want is another one of these. And hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. we'll keep this building for this turn. It's a, it's a nice little it's a nice little upgrade. As you see, they have nobody at Sueza or Susia, and their only army here is right now four men, and they don't have any military buildings. They're gonna try to build a farm here, I think. So the next best thing we can do to, to counter that 
is with our new horse upgrade. Let's upgrade our horses first and foremost. Boom. Upgrade. Did he gain a trait? He did not. Uh, this guy's 40 years old. Doesn't have a lot of ambition. And his gravitas is not... He's not that important yet. But he's faithful. As a faithful person. I like to RP my generals when I play them. Uh, as a faithful adulterous man. Hmm. Give him a bureaucrat and rightful state. So he's got a little bit of zeal, a little bit of authority. Uh, nothing special. But hopefully he'll soon gain... Oh, he did gain an ambitious magistrate. Law is always the friend of the powerful. Ooh. This is why I love talents, traits, and toadies. This kind of thing. I didn't know this was even... I didn't know that you can gain household upgrades from just leveling up. That's kind of cool. And we'll try with our level 1 spy to hit the city. And we'll hit spacebar. Failed. At least he didn't get injured. Uh, since he was in his intelligence stance last turn, he gained a little bit of XP and enough to level up here. He's a increased line of sight. Discovering hidden agents. Alright, so he's a spy guy. Which is good. Uh, here we're going to recruit... Three more Parthian horse archers. We're going to be building a lot of them. Uh, why don't we clear that and just let you fight for yourself here. Um. Greetings, most excellent friend. Can we get him to join that war? Probably not. Please accept us a most... Oh, shit. Ah, uh, yeah, that's Reptilicus. Alright, so that's the first... So Parthia, destroying them is our first step, because it gives us one, it gives us our whole province. Uh, which is super, super important. Um, especially the way Rome 2 works, with the province edict system. As you can see, I can't even use, I can't use any of the edicts here until we take the whole province. And it's also, uh, that's how you get your culture, is based on what province you're in. So when you go here to your details, I have 100% Eastern culture and there's nothing else here. Now if you go... Here, it's 90% nomadic with a, probably a little bit of eastern in it um, that's just my guess but when I go take that I'll have to convert it uh, and it's much easier to convert if you own the whole province because there won't be any other than the local traditions there won't be any negative impact uh, from other stuff so yeah we'll end the turn here unless we can find some trade partners like Aria likes us uh, we should they usually we usually take this land because uh, we we want to kill Arya, Sargathia, Bactria, and this. We really want uh, this land all here, and then we'll work that way. That's kind of the plan. Uh, must let us look again. Yeah, so Arya likes us, uh, but it's probably a good idea. Please be seated and take wine. To cool get some trade with them. I came as a supplicant, and the gods have granted you generosity in abundance. I agree to all. Hmm. I'm gonna try to get some military access for some money. No. My lord would have me propose a treaty Bro. between us. I will go further and humbly access. request. Yeah, I will get really persistent thing. when it wants something from you. Uh, we'll demand. You speak a foreign tongue, and yet you bargain. Hmm. Alright, so you can see, we should be good here. We don't really have anything we can build. One option here is to upgrade one of these. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I think we're going to destroy this building and then next turn build another farm. I think that's the plan. You're going to need a lot of food to build this province the way you want to. And until late game where you own a lot of land, you won't have a lot of place to put food as an eastern faction. That's probably the biggest downside to playing as eastern factions. You don't have a lot of food options. 
uh, or at least not a hot, lot of high yielding food options. Your economic buildings are amazing. Your recruitment buildings are amazing. Your units are usually pretty good. Uh, if a little low on morale, they're usually pretty good. Here we go. The Volcay's turn is over. And here's logistics. Parthava has declared, has gotten peace. That's fine. Sueza does not yet have a farm. They might be building it right now. Ooh, there we go. He gained a mistress with his fairly adulterous ways. That's interesting. Um, we won't give him that because we're going to get rid of the adulterous stuff. Here's the, what I was talking about earlier. The likes Easterners. Comparing this to likes Barbarians, it is much, much better for me. Um, here is their... The, our opposing faction leader. He's 43, not very ambitious, not a lot of gravitas. But he's modest and he likes her, his own people, which is nice. He still needs one more upgrade before I can secure a promotion to get rid of Adulteress. But... If you remember what we saw there, uh, that household we gained was Gravitas and influence through a political party. So we're going to give that to our 16-year-old uh, general. We're going to try to turn him into a super general because uh, he's young and has a lot of Gravitas and a lot of uh, ambition. So we look here. They have six units, the same exact thing we fought last fight that was down here. Hmm, they have 10 units there. We'll build one more here. And... Why don't we... We'll buy some mercs and we'll go take this. And again, this is the same fight as last time, so we're not going to fight it. We're just going to auto-resolve. Interesting. We'll occupy because the same culture. We don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So yeah, they didn't upgrade yet. They had the points to do it, but they didn't do it. This is... We're going to upgrade that. Disband these. So he's a commander. We want him to be a commander and a warrior. He's going to be our battlefield general. My Lord. We're going to grab one of these. Actually, we're going to grab two more of these. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get on this side. And they should be starving to death at this point. Uh, from now on, they'll be starving to death. Because they have no food income. But they should be able to upgrade that, that building. This turn. Since they had one left over from over here. Okay, another option we can do... So we have two generals. This is something you have to keep in mind when playing. Hmm. All right. Something you have to keep in mind while playing. Sorry about that. I just got a little sidetracked. Once you recruit a general, this is very useful on the higher difficulties, they are now free to re-recruit if you dismiss them. So if we need, let's say, our... What's he good at? Why don't we bring back our old, our opposing faction leader? Why don't we cancel these? We're gonna see. We're gonna test. See how this works. So we had 108 before, right? 108 gold. And since he has a, in his passives, uh, that I saw, he's got a minus five percent to local construction costs. That applies to the entire province. So let's see if we, if, if it works. Or not. It does work. Nice. So you gotta look out for that kind of stuff. Uh, not only did he increase my public order, but he also reduced the cost of my buildings by 5%. Which is not a lot, mind you, but it's something. Right, that's 5%. I saved 160 gold right there. Um, you, can, you gotta remember to use these tabs. It is very, very useful. I require... There we go. Silk has been added to my repertoire. All my military forces have been full. My people are unhappy, but they're fed. And we do not own the whole province. Who's making the most money? Scythia and me are pretty close. 
Hmm. Now, Bactra hates me. 160. 120. Argacia, Drognia. Drognia hates me. Parthava. Be welcome. Can myself. we get them to join me? No. Now. No, that sucks. All right, we'll end the turn here. Um, I think the video will end once we take this province, and that'll be a nice little first episode. How to get started? Oh, Masegate. I guess we're going north and east this campaign. I guess that's what we're doing. Using my Sega to go to Orthochromasi. That's interesting. Huh. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do now... Um, peace negotiated, peace negotiated. Alright, since we're not going to be wanting to head west anytime soon, we should probably get the non-aggression trade packs with some people. And you will be answered like we can get 500 bucks for one of these now. Your generous nature does your people right, we'll just credit, do that. But really, and such a thing is can not get... necessary. How much can we get? We'll try 420. No. My honorable master would I have want the that. talk of gold. I know that's what you want. Would it's not what opinion. I want. All right, about hmm. let's try three forty. Really? We wow. fire this arrow they really don't want to give me. To snatch oh, it from the air. they have no money. I'm guessing. Uh, why don't we give you military? And ask for 500. Wow, they have no An money. For real. Offend my gods, even as yours giggled about it. All right. Well, we'll just get those since they have no money. We have heard of your great wit. And then we talk to Persia I will about a very similar treaty. Sure that you come to deliver a profitable message. It won't do a thousand, your but it's still moderate. Does your people credit, so let's try really, 700. Is not necessary. They accepted 700. Truly nice. My good and noble All right. Friend, so now the only people we have to worry about. Debate, have uh, let's let's bring back the big map. Now, if you go down here and you sort, you can click the sort by attitude button. Uh, if you want to see. Who hates you the most and who likes you the most? Who likes me the most right now is Arcosia. Oh, that's a phone call. Mute it for right now. And who dislikes us? Everybody to the north and to the east. Nobody on our borders right at this moment. Speak, my friend. We'll see how much Come, my friend. we can get a lot of money Speak. off of these guys. We are men for some trade. Of words, and so serve our Demand a thousand for your trade. Nope. You okay. have an honest face, even About as you 780 offer an honest pride. I must, in all polite. Hmm. All right, they're my probably in the same situation. And with great care, do not dismiss my words lightly. Five hundred, at least. Your proposal. All right. and that'll secure that front up from them. So now we have to focus all of our efforts this way. <laughs> we have a lot of battles to fight after we take Parthia down or Parthava down. Uh, here, as you can see, he's not well, he's not starving. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. So we move this guy. We to check their move range. You when they're not recruiting, you can click on them, and it'll show like a red circle. It's like right now that's his area of influence. Is this red circle around him? You know, it's probably you know that big. Uh, when you click on it when he's not recruiting, it'll show you the whole range. It's like when you click on here, it shows you can go up to this this mark. It'll be the same thing, but in red. Uh, much like that. Much like this. Um, one thing we could do if we want to try to bait out a bait them out of the city is we could try to set up an ambush. 
like right here in the forests, which you can see uh, when you're hovering over a spot, you'll see a tree or a plane. Like planes, 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 tree. So right here is a tree. I can click on and put my guy, it gives him 50% chance of, 55% chance of getting a ambush off. And then you can pop him into ambush dance. You need half your movement points available for that. I am within one turn of, people poison the city, nice. I am within one turn of the city, so it's not that big a deal. Now we'll get some more reconnaissance because that's what he specializes in. We'll grab two more of them. And we'll force march this guy up here. So if they leave the city, we take it with this army. If they come up here, we ambush them, and it'll be a difficult but fun battle. And then if they stay there they just get surrounded slowly so that's the plan um hopefully Bactria decides not to fight me for a little while uh, i've had on my legendary campaign as parthia i was playing Bactria came at me with four shall we hack at each other oh. until our enemies can yeah we themselves definitely want on this warrior's flesh or would it be peace we definitely want this Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Huh. They really want it. Hmm. They won't break their trade agreements, though. You break your non aggression pack with that. What about with Masega today? No, they won't. Damn. Hmm. Now, do we want to mess this up? Probably not. We'll just offer a high chance. Uh, we got them out of the war, and we got money for it. Parthava, sorry, bro. <laughs> You're gonna die. Uh, logistics is completed. We now we have eight turns to take this building before, or for a. Let's get the dignitary going. Well, well, yeah, we'll get the dignitary. Well, no, we want the farm for sure. Where's that at? Yeah, we're getting the farm for sure. They didn't bite on our... Right. Just sit here. Did he gain a trait? Let's look. Nope, no trait gained. I should have poisoned first, but I'm gonna try to save my money for afterwards. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just force march into position here. And we're just gonna pile in. This guy in here. And what how long has this video been? Oh wow. Alright, sorry guys, we're gonna end the video here. Uh let's let's continue the siege. And the beginning of next video we'll have the actual battle for Hecto Lop Hecto hmm. Hecatompolop? I don't know. I don't even know how to say that. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like if you liked it, subscribe if you are interested in the rest of the series, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.